Yo, 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 what's up, motorcycles? Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in wherever you guys are watching from at home, in bed, at work, on the toilet, anywhere. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you guys can see right here to my right, your left, right, left, whichever. I got my son out here with me today. This is Liam. Say hi, Liam. Hi. <laughs> He's kind of camera shy. It's his first time in front of uh, the big boy camera. Um, you guys been wondering why I never include my family in my YouTube videos. And I'm pretty sure I explained it a long time ago how the internet is a dark place and there's a lot of weirdos out there. But you know what? I, I just said F it. I'm going to send it and I wanted to include my son uh, in my, on my YouTube channel. So yeah, this will be his first time on YouTube fishing with, uh, with Papa Bear out here. And uh, we'll be fishing Harbor Island as you guys can see right there. It is Friday morning and uh, I don't work today so me and my son planned this whole uh, this whole little outing out all week and he's been super excited to come out to fish with uh, with me. Uh, we did go fishing what on Sunday? Yeah. And you caught your first fish ever? It was a halibut on a drop shot. His first fish ever artificial drop shot halibut. So it's pretty damn exciting if you guys ask me. Uh, you know what? That, that was a proud father moment. <laughs> But all right, I'm gonna bring up the tide chart right now and I'll explain to my son how the tides work. So this is the tide chart you guys can see on the screen. Right now, Liam, we, it is high tide. It is currently 6.50 a.m. The tide peaked out at 6.45 a.m. So that means the water is at its highest right now. And you see where the red line is? Yeah. That's where we are. And then it's going down, right? That means the tide is going down. So when the tide is going down out here, it means the water is going back out to the ocean. When the tide is getting high, it means that uh, the water is coming in and the water is going up. So we're fishing the outgoing tide. It looks like the tide drops at 11.09 a.m. So in about, what, seven, in about four hours, it's going to be really low. The tide will slack out. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's the tide we'll be working with today. It looks like the swing is pretty slow. And yeah, uh, I don't really like fishing a slow tide, but you know what? You never know. It's the bay, big or small. We'll try to catch them all. You excited? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We're gonna catch some mackerel today? Yeah. Well, hopefully. Yeah, I'm try. <laughs> yeah, so it's a little bit awkward for him. So you guys bear with us and let's try to put him on some fish. We're gonna be starting off with a jerk bait, some irons, maybe another drop shot, some swim baits, who knows? But you ready for this? Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, guys, stay tuned and uh, enjoy the show. Let's go. Let's get you all set up. You wanna throw this one or this one? This one? No. This one? This one. This one? Yeah. The sardine? Yep. All right. Beautiful. Let me show you how to do it, okay? So look, look at the line. You want it like right here, okay? Pay attention. The line. Make sure it's always right here. Look at my hand. Grab it right there. Open the bail. Two hands. Okay? Two hands. Back here. Whip it out. You got it? Yep. All right. So you let it sink to the bottom, but you don't have to. You close it, and you can do this. Look at the movement I'm doing. All right. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Chilling. Getting started? Yeah, yeah. Taking my son out for the first time. So you work like that, okay? Just like this, not too hard, not too soft. Or you can just put the rod down like this and do this. And then let me show you. You're gonna be standing right here or you can go down there. See the little area? I'll let you go down there. Don't go too low, it's dangerous. So when you bring it in, look, look what I do, okay? Stand on this side, go on my right side. This is what I do, okay? So you see it? When you see, when you see the bait, Bring it up like that. Okay, watch out for people behind you. All right, wait for the people to walk by so you don't get a hook in them. Get ready to cast it though. So I use two hands to cast it. Mm-hmm. You wanna keep the rod pointed forward. All right, wait until the line go out. All right, close it. I reel out the slack. See how it's loop, loop the line? It's slack. All right, go reel it up. Keep your rod up. Okay. 
Reel a little bit faster. Don't reel too slow. You want to look like a fish. That's no, okay. It's okay. Take your time. You'll know when you get a bite. Let me see. Oh, that was grass. If it doesn't pull back, it's grass. When you hear that, that means the fish is pulling back. See, when you reel too slow, you get stuck in grass. And when you get grass, you have nothing to do but to bring it up. Okay? Don't let the bait hit the rock. Because when the bait hits the rock, the bait gets damaged. You got to be careful. When there's grass, there's hooks in there, okay? You got to pull it out gently. And then if you want to bring it back down here, look, pay attention. You can drop it a little bit and close it. But let me know if you need help. But you need to cast further. Okay? Here. You got it? All right, let the, let the dog walk by first and then you can cast. All right, you're clear. Whip it a little hard, not too hard. Well, pay attention to your bait. There you go, let it go, point straight. All right, close it. It'll get tight on its own, don't reel. Let it get tight on its own. You have to let it sink. All right, you're good. Remember, don't reel too slow. You gotta reel faster, because your reel is slow. It's a slow gear ratio. You got it? So when you're done, you ready? You can go down there, okay? You see the big orange goldfishes down there? Yeah. yeah, you can't catch them, it's illegal. No, you can buy them, but you can't keep them. You get stuck again? Keep your rod up. Let me see. You have to pay attention, you have to look at your line. Don't yank on it, you're gonna mess up the line. Here, grab mine, get back up. I got a fish. There it is. Oh, this one's pulling. This one's pulling. Yo, it's a cr Whoa, no way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was a YC bass. <laughs> it's a croaker. All right, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a YC bass. My heart dropped, but now I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah, buddy, you want to bring this to grandma? All right. Uh, we'll go drop this off. There it is. Yellowfin croaker on the Jigpara Micro Slim. Hell yeah. <laughs> At the bonk him. Why don't I get some water? Want to change your bait? Bring it up. Want to make a move to another spot? All right. Bring it up. It's pretty warm out there, huh? Yeah. I don't know why you used to have your sweater on. You crazy, boy. I am. <laughs> All right, one fish so far. Yellowfin croaker on a micro slim by Major Craft. I would take it. So I gave my son an option to either go to the left side of Harbor or Coronado. What do you say? Coronado. Coronado? Yeah. He wants to go across the big blue bridge. 
So we're gonna head over to Coronado and probably fish the ferry landing or along the rocks by the three pillars or the three platforms. Uh, also, comment below if you guys have been doing good out here in San Diego Bay because it's pretty rough right now. The moon phase is not really in our favor, but a lot of people don't believe in that. I do, take it for what it is. If you guys wanna see more of this guy, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below. It's pretty fun fishing with him, but fishing with kids, man, can be hectic. Because, you know, they tend to get stuck in rocks a lot, but it's part of the game. It is what it is. So you guys stay tuned, man. Let's go get him. Let's go. at the Coronado Ferry Landing. It's been a long time. I think this is my first time this year fishing here. We'll see if uh, anything is biting at the pier, so stay tuned. Let's go. Well, it looks like you have to pay for parking here. That's new. Excuse me? Excuse me. Is it pay to park in here now? Yeah, but you're good. So like, about 10 o'clock they start coming around and start checking. Oh, they start, they just started doing that pay. I haven't been here in like a year. So. Yeah, you got two hours from basically like 10 o'clock. That's cool. when they start checking. Awesome, thank you. So, uh, that's it. Appreciate it. There it is. Oh, you mean that big? That? Yep. Little guy. <laughs> no? It's not legal. It has to be bigger. Uh, bring your rod over here. Let's switch you up. All right. Cast in. Let it get to the bottom and work it slow. Bring up your line a little bit more so you can cast further. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there's a fish. Come cast over here. Oh, he spat up a clam. Oh, he found the dirt. He's being distracted, but yeah, there he goes. Bat up this clam. Yeah, little razor clam. Check that out. See that? It's a razor clam. It's alive? It's dead. Yeah. Is this a fish? It is a fish. It's a halibut. There it is. Three species this morning. Skunked out today? No. Yeah, you did. Oh, I did. If you don't catch fish, it's a skunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we are calling it a day right there. There was a lot of frustration, but my boy here, Liam, you're learning, right? Yeah. You're learning. It's okay. 
Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. Unfortunately today, buddy, Papa Bear beat you. It's okay. All right, well, total of what? A halibut, two spotties, and one yellowfin croaker to end the day. Not bad, but could be better. But hey, it is what it is, San Diego Bay. You never know what you're gonna catch. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small, sometimes nothing at all, and it's just how the cookie crumbles. So we're gonna give it another shot and hopefully get Liam on his second fish. And yeah, I mean, we've been out for about four hours, Liam. I know. But hey, you win some, you lose some. And today, he learned the hard way. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you already have not, and also, if you check the description below, everything I use in the video is down there, including the link to the BG fishing community. All the other good stuff. So, yeah, there's that. All right, guys, I'm going to close it right there. Thank you so much for watching. As always, good fishing and peace the hell out.